there folks mountain boy here today i want to share with you some of my spanish steel uh on the right we've got the joker lynx this is a kind of great uh camp knife bushcrafter my car to handle just beautifully manufactured nice chimping uh fairly robust at four millimeters blade thickness blade length is 4.13 inches comes with a kydex sheath fire steel for a great package price of $126.90 on Amazon as of filming. But what I want to show you today is this. This is a CDS, and I'm going to apologize for the pronunciation already. It, it's an Exarchia. And this is also Spanish made steel. Instead of the Bowler N695, this is a, a Move 58. Uh, I believe the, the Bowler is either like a Swedish or a German steel. Whereas the uh, CDS is kind of a proprietary Spanish steel that's kind of used a lot in their knife industry. You can see here, very similar kind of form and function. Brushed, polished micarta, red spacers, big, thick, hefty, full tang blade. This is full five millimeters thick as opposed to four millimeters thick. Slightly shorter blade hit weight. It's in at 3.94 inches with the overall length of 8.67 inches uh, it comes with a leather sheath actually quite a nice sheath this is an excellent value at 79 dollars on amazon as a filming there is a, a quote fancier version it's got a red micarta i'm not sure if you don't get these kind of uh, indentations in there for grip uh, and that weighs in at 90 dollars both great knives uh i would say with the uh, cds it because of the handle arrangement, it's not going to slip. It's got great traction. Although anyone with bigger hands than me, and I'd say I have medium sized hands, medium to size large in a glove, this knife will be too small, but great jimping, great balance, great materials. Uh, definitely a really good competitor, especially when you think there's a uh, about a $45, $46 difference between them. Uh, I think looking and researching this cds um, you see them a lot in european knife shops european websites i think they just don't have that much distribution here in the states and maybe that's part of why it's a reasonably good deal relative to a lot of the other bushcrafters out there so as far as kind of like all the bushcrafty things uh, it's got a sharpened spine uh, both uh, at the back and at the top uh, this is just a, a full flat grind uh, with a bit of a drop point to it, as you can kind of see there. I just wanted to talk about the sheaths for a second. So with the CDS, there's a really nice handmade leather sheath, very thick leather, high quality setup with dual snaps uh, for, for both Scouts carry. And it has the ability for this additional snap to where you can kind of convert it to a traditional belt sheath. Very well done. The only kind of complaint I'll have with it is if you're kind of, there's no liner to it in terms of polymer liner. And when you're putting it away, you do, if you're doing it blind, you have to fish. You can see where I've kind of cut the leather already a little bit here for it. But you can see once it's in there, it's secure, it's quiet, nice attractive package. But you can kind of compare that to the Kydex for the Joker. This is the little bit cheaper option the at 118 with the fire steel, it comes with a little gizmo that lets you put the fire steel on the edge. Uh, I have to admit, I prefer the Kydex. This is a really nice sheath. It's quiet. Um, it's easy out, easy in, decent retention. You can adjust it with that screw. So, you know, it kind of depends if, if you're more of a traditionalist uh, or if you like the Kydex. Uh, Joker has both of those options, whereas the CDS only has this leather. So either way, nice sheaths. Let's take a look and see how the CDS performs, and then we'll compare it to the Joker. Kind of what I would expect is with the thicker blade stock, it's going to be very good at the tonning. Probably not as slicey as the Joker, which is that millimeter. But yeah, this is splitting beautifully cleanly, making nice kindling. Too bad it's fire season. No fires today. I do actually have a bunch of brush piles that I need to get rid of, but I have to wait for fall, and then uh, I'll have a good excuse to make some fires. Okay, 
Let's compare it to the Joker. I suspect, you know, this is kind of like oranges and tangerines. Yeah, like, see, it's just splitting nicely. It's a little longer. Gives you a little bit more leverage and control. Uh, the tonning. Yeah, so no doubt there. Let's take a look at how fine a work we're looking at. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Yeah, look at that. These beautiful little... Nice feathering, beautiful edge on it. It's a full flat grind with it. That's compared to the Joker, which has kind of a saber grind. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting it for now, but I'll look it up and put it above if I'm wrong. Nice control. You know, it's a little shorter than the Joker. I'm um, just under four inches. It's good control. You know, if I even if I had a skin with it, it's got nice belly to it. You know, I've got you know good kind of finger control over it. It's kind of compared to the Joker, where you can see here. You know, I can't reach all the way to the end of that blade like I can with the CDS. And actually, these these if you can kind of see how that's indented in the micarta. What's nice about that is it gives you a nice pinch point here at the end for your thumb and your, I don't know, uh, your, your saluting finger. So, uh, yeah, it like fits well in the hand, no hot spots. I like, actually like the traction. I don't know if this would cause a blister over time, but just beautifully done. You know, with the Joker, uh, you know, I, I think it, each of these kind of has things that's going to do better than the other. I like the extra length on this. It's a cleaner feeling handle. I can choke up or down on it. It gives me different hand positions. Jimping is a little bit more positive. You know, I, th I think the thickness on both of them is totally adequate. I don't think you're going to be breaking either one of these knives. Let's look at the ends of them. Let's see here. One thing I do like is on the Joker here, you can see where it's straight and then it bevels more right at the end and then it has a bevel tip, whereas the CDS has a bit more of a tapered tip. So I would think the Joker would be kind of a little bit stronger tip than the CDS. Yeah, but again, you know, I mean, we're, we're kind of talking the minutia here. So anyway, I guess final thoughts with it is both are beautiful knives. Both are extremely well made. Uh, I would, uh, I definitely look forward to kind of having and using both of them. I hate to say it, but I'm starting to become a collector. I always swore I'd never collect knives. I'd always have a purpose for every one. But I have to admit, I've just really learned to come to enjoy using really finely made knives, well thought out, well designed. And it seems kind of like a pleasure, something I can take along with me in my work on my property, my outdoor chores, backpacking, camping, hiking. You know, it's just kind of a pleasure to work with these fine knives. As far as the value, I think the, the CDS is just an awesome value at $80. I mean, it's, you know, two thirds the price of the Joker, I think for every bit of the same quality. Uh, I think the materials are very comparable, both the steel and the micarta. I think the manufacturing process is very similar. Anyway, hope this has helped and kind of interested you in uh, another uh, great Spanish blade. Thank you. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and please uh, put it in down below and hit like and Mountain Boy out.